Welcome back. Here we are again in the latest iteration of our beach house project. From the outside, it doesn't really look as though that much has changed. But if we open up one of the plan scenes, you can see we've got our structure showing in here that we added in the previous model. And you can also see that I've split these external walls into the inner timber framing and the outer brick veneer. This is a pretty common construction method throughout the Western world, as far as I know, and certainly one that I come across a lot in Australia. However, this presents me with a problem. When we were producing our design development drawings in the previous module, it was okay to show these walls just as a solid fill like this. However, for my construction documents, I wanna be able to apply a hatch pattern to these areas that are brick, as opposed to the other areas which are timber stub framed. Not only can we not apply hatch fills yet as part of the section fill tool in SketchUp, we certainly can't apply more than one type of fill per scene. I know I could simply apply these hatch patterns later in the layout and for smaller areas or more simple projects then I might actually do that. However, because of the extent of the bitwork on this project, that isn't really feasible. I also don't want to lose that live link between the 3D model and the 2D information if I can help it. Therefore, we need to look at something different. We need to look again at section cut face. Just as in the previous module, we use section cut face to create 2D line work with different fills applied for our sections, we can do the same for our plan drawings. We're just going to keep building upon the scenes that we created in the previous module and the FP vector thick and FP vector thin scenes can pretty much stay the same. The main difference is that we're going to place our hatch patterns behind them on the FP raster viewport. Therefore, in order for the hatches to be visible, we need to turn section fill off in both of the vector scenes. So if we start with the FP vector thin scene in the styles dialog, Let's select our vector thin style and click create new style. And let's call this style CD vector thick. So if we edit that style under modeling settings, we just need to untick section fill and then update the style to save those changes. Make sure this style is applied to the vector thin scene and then also update that scene to save the changes. We can quickly do the same for the vector thick style as well. Let's call that CD vector thick, edit the style and remove section fill and update the style and update the scene. And that's all we have to do for these scenes. For the FP raster scene, we simply need to add some section cut face line work to cover the hatched areas. So let's go to our working model scene and turn on the section planes. If we select this FP1 section plane, right click, add section cut face, and we get a familiar dialog box. I'm happy to keep the section fill as white as we'll be replacing it with a hatch anyway. We don't want anything hidden or locked, auto update on demand as before. And we want to create a custom tag for this line work. And we also want to give it a custom name. And lastly, we don't want this line work to be visible in every scene. So let's just leave this visible in the current scene for now and click OK. So let's call the tag X plan. OK. And let's call the uh, line work FP line work and click OK. So let's hide the section planes again so that we can see what we're doing. And if we open up the outliner, we should be able to see FP line work. I often find it easier to select the line work in the outliner like this and then double click to open the group. And here you can see that we have everything that the section plane has cut through converted into 2D line work. Obviously we can delete all these windows and doors and the joinery as we're only really interested 
in the walls. Okay, so after a quick tidy up, I'm ready to apply some hatches. So for the inner walls and the inner leaf of the external walls, I'm happy just to leave that as a solid white fill. For the outer skin of brickwork, I want to apply a hatch pattern. And for these, we simply use one of the textures that comes preloaded with SketchUp. I will show you later in this module how you can create your own hatch patterns, but for this, we have what we need. So if we select the paint bucket tool and go to my colors palette, if I go to the patterns section that comes with SketchUp, in here, there is a pretty good masonry hatch. It's called Brick Common Face. So I can select this and simply apply it to all the cut fills where the brick veneer is located. Okay, so now I've got my brick hatches applied. I can exit out of this group and back into my working scene. I don't need to see the line work in this scene, so let's turn the X plan tag off in here and update that scene. Finally, if I go to my raster scene, the X plan layer should be automatically hidden by a section cut face. So if I go ahead and turn it back on, you will see that my hatches appear minus any edges because we have our raster no edges style still applied. So with the X plan tag visible, we can update this scene and head back over to layout to see how this looks. Okay, so here we are back in layout with my CD plans bundle of drawings open. On this floor plan page, you'll see that we've still got the DD model loaded in. So if we go to file, document setup, if I go to references, then we can scroll down here to where it says DD building. And let's go relink and we can choose CD building and click open. If we close this, so now our viewports have automatically been updated to reflect all this extra work that we've done. So if we look at the floor plan drawing, we can see the structural columns, etc., as well as the hatches for the brickwork. We'll come back to these drawings later to finish them off, but for now, let's keep setting up our construction documents. In the next lesson, we'll create a roof plan drawing for this model. See you there.